so in the first clip we went over where to find your crops why you'd want them and all that now i'm going to show you some techniques for planting them and some basically in particular one mistake to avoid so if you're starting out with one small planter even you can actually get going pretty well doesn't take much to uh get some crops growing so if you have only one planter you know what do you want are you short on cloth if you're short on cloth maybe plant some hemp and some food there you go a couple hours hour and a half to two hours you'll have uh some crops coming up perfectly fine maybe you want to get a wood potion because you want to get that roll in early game two blueberries and a red berry there you go so the mistake you want to avoid is something that new players do a whole lot when they're farming <clears throat> they put down a large planter box and then they monocrop and you noticed over here blueberry is separated from blueberry hemp is separated from hemp here corn is just all adjacent to corn and the reason this is a problem is because of the crossbreeding oh my god i could not have done this on purpose crossbreeding works with adjacent plants so this plant in this corner when it reaches the crossbreed phase is going to look at this plant this plant and this plant for genetic material and then take genetics from those and become copies of those plants and their genetic mix having a six red genetic plant in the dead center is going to ruin this entire box because of the way the genetic works your green genes are your positive ones sort of h is pretty much neutral but it's easy to work with your red genes the w is a negative the x is a neutral but they're hard to replace or hard to overwrite but the opposite works that way too a w will easily overwrite or a red gene will easily overwrite a green gene so the reason that works is let's see so here we've got an h and an h in slot six and an x in slot six well if it was just these three that double h would overwrite the x but the moment there's a w do we have any other x's in? we don't so i guess in this case this plant here would end up with an h in slot six because of all of the h's near it right but that's not likely so when these things hit crossbreed they're all going to start taking the negative genes preferentially because of the way they're weighted and that means your crops are going to grow slower and the slower they grow the more water they use and they're going to yield less so this box of corn is probably going to put out somewhere between four and six corn per plant i'm really speculating i don't plant like this so i can't remember how bad the numbers get <clears throat> so if you want to do this much much more properly let's say you're still looking for food because maybe you've got a crew and we need some food so we're going to plant our corn in the corners where it can't crossbreed and boom we already got a good one that leaves us five slots to do with so let's go back to that idea of maybe making a wood potion and if we're lucky so one blue and one yellow or sorry one red and one yellow we might be able to get a basic wood and a basic ore potion out of this and we already got some food going let's throw some hemp in there <laughs> typically a hemp plant at the very least will get you a sleeping bag or a bow so this this sonetta or this setup is gonna even though the genetics aren't guaranteed to be good they won't get worse because the plants cannot crossbreed now the red berry has no red berries adjacent to it the corn doesn't have corn adjacent to it and again you do it the other way if you really want a lot of potions or maybe you want a chance at getting a medium instead of a a lowest level one you go like that and let's put some potatoes in the middle uh, again this is a better setup than the monocrop which is just guaranteed to be terrible now we already mentioned some stuff about genetics when you are doing this you do want to keep your eye out for instance this bad boy this is a near perfect corn and we just got it by planting a seed that's so lucky 
I'm not going to harvest this for corn. I'm going to harvest this as a clone. I don't want to waste this. Now, even if I don't plan on working on corn, it doesn't matter. This thing is so close to perfect. You'll just use this down the road for all of your food needs until you can work on getting a perfect clone. This is fantastic to start with. Look at the others. Uh, here's another one. This red berry is really good. This would be great to work with from the start without having to do any modifications to it at all. It's a great clone. So if you come across these, go ahead and clone them instead of harvesting them for food or berries or whatever. The catch, and we'll get into this more later, is you don't want to take every single potentially good plant. I'm on a modded server, and I'm on this ridiculous garden, which I built for a community server run by some friends of mine. It's pretty fun. It's very weird, but it's fun. But you'll notice there's a bank of refrigerators and large boxes. If you're trying to get a perfect hemp seed or hemp clone, you could fill a fridge or a large box with imperfect clones on your way to getting the right genetics you need to get that perfect clone. This ridiculous corn is still going to take probably four to six clones that are close to what we need before we can actually get the perfect breed out of it the perfect 2y 4g and that's one form of perfect <clears throat> 2y's and 4g's grows fast and has increased yield it's a great plant um so it's so near to perfect. We only need one change, but it still will take us probably between four and six plants with a Y in slot one before we can actually make that change. So we're starting with near perfect and it's still gonna take a few clones to get us there probably. Starting with imperfect, it takes tons. And you're always looking for six greens. If you got a six green, go ahead and take it as a clone because those are easy to work with compared to the others. Having said that, that's basically this video. That's all there is to this. Planting without this monocropping, don't let your plants crossbreed because even if they don't have good genetics, at least they won't get worse. And this is the best thing for starting out in your base. It's just a good way to go about it. 